And now it's time for Funny English Customs, the show in which Jack Worthing, that's me, illuminates our Jolly Island's ancient customs. Now, since the 1st of May is coming soon, let's talk about the ancient tradition of the Maypole. Some people claim the Maypole was a naughty Roman ritual about, well, <laughs> we're all grown-ups here, aren't we? <laughs> but we Brits, well, we've been dancing around the Maypole for as long as we've been burning virgins in giant wicker men, haven't we? <laughs> but we don't really do that anymore, do we? Apparently, though, the custom of men and women wrapping ribbons around the Maypole by dancing only dates to Victorian times. It makes sense, doesn't it? Before that, really long ribbons were much too expensive, yes. A lot of ancient customs are really Victorian. For example... The idea that each Scottish clan has its own tartan pattern. Do you know who made that up? The novelist Walter Scott. <laughs> Wally. <laughs> of course, you're liable to work up quite a burning thirst dancing round a maypole, aren't you? What's the perfect drink to put out those fires? Why, Summer Isle Ale, of course. And the head brewer, Lord Summer Isle, as they call him, has brewed up a very special medieval ale to sell only in the first week of May. It's called a gruit. Instead of hops, it's seasoned with marsh rosemary, bog myrtle and yarrow. Take it from me, Jack Worthing. It's got a delightful twang of peach. But you can't get peaches anymore, can you? Mayday gruit from Summer Isle Ale quenches your burning thirst. Well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in again soon for more Uncle Jack.